Hello, everyone. We've returned. Hope me moving my mic doesn't make noise, like a weird, like, weird noise or something. Anyway. Here we are. Back once again. And let me show you around. I did a lot of work between now and then. Yes, you can probably tell because it is now June. All right. So, as you can see, I, I've lined this wall more or less. There's still some room up here for storage crates. Also, we were changed out the bookshelf here for a couple more of these. If you look here, the top from the bottom crate is the ones that we've read, while the top crate is the ones we have not read. Okay. And then this little chest over here holds my books, my crosswords, all that good stuff that we can use to stave off boredom. All right, and then I have this uh, this chest right here. I don't know why I'm calling them chests, but they're crates. It's got all my car parts and stuff related to car stuff in it, right? And then down here we have, you know, my clothing and carrying stuff. And then we just have tools and weapons, tools and weapons... And everything else is basically just materials that I think we can use and, and stuff like that. So, except for this one, this one is uh, also tools and weapons, you know. But uh, here we got all of our, you know, gardening stuff, which actually I'm going to grab this gardening stuff. Just real quick here. I know I'm going to get a little bit overweight, but that's fine. We're gonna come over here to my gardening crate if I can find it. There it is. I'm just gonna put all this stuff into it. Just so it has a little bit more room out there, you know. Okay. Well, you might notice I'm only carrying around two planks. And yes, that is correct. In fact, just a moment. I have some planks here. I'm gonna add these to that. Just for a second. Okay. So what did I that? You also notice that the wall is uh, that was here is gone. I wanted a more open floor plan. I also moved the generator here, removed this wall and the door that was here and whatnot. I also put down a mouse trap, which I haven't caught anything yet. Not much has changed in the in the kitchen except for me knocking down the. Shelving units over here that only held 15 weight and putting down two of these chests, which now house all of our uh, canned goods. Incidentally, the fridge restocked. As you can see, I have ketchup and now a shrimp in there, which I didn't have before. So that's uh, the loot came back. I decided to knock down this door as well, so I don't have to deal with that in here. And then I removed everything that was useful out of these two uh, chest areas, since they hold 50, I didn't want to get rid of them. Uh, but they're kind of just for now holding stuff that I don't necessarily have a use for. And then upstairs, I decided to knock down these two walls, of the uh, room walls, and also the ones over here. So this is all just kind of an open concept. Really, the only thing that has doors is the laundry room. And then the doors to the house in this bedroom, which, as you can see, I also decided to remove uh, everything else here because everything else was under 40 pounds of weight uh, per thing. So, yeah, we are essentially good to go. And also the only window that... Uh, oh, never mind, that window is covered. I thought it was still open. But, uh, yeah, so I got a head sledgehammer and knocked everything down. There was also a wall and a door here. I knocked those down just to get more wood uh, and all that. Is that a light switch right there? Oh my god, there was a light switch here the whole time. Whatever. Anyway. So as you can see, it's raining finally. So I was thinking, what if we use carpentry to create a rain collector barrel? So we're going to need those garbage bags that we've been stockpiling and planks. Let's head over and find our garbage bags first. We needed four of them. We'll grab them. And then we need the planks, which should all be in the same chest. Here's five. I think I only did four, so... One, two, four, five. 
I don't know, let's grab them all. Oh, I have got much issue. So, let's go ahead and we'll head out this way, just that way we can more easily see stuff here. And then if we go carpentry, uh, furniture, rain collector, we're just going to put that right here. There we go. So now it'll start collecting rain. Perfect. I may want to get another one. So, let's see if I have any more planks in here, huh? Let's see. No. No, but I do need four more garbage bags if that's the case. Let's see if we have that. Because if not, then well, which could... Also, I found out that scrap wood can be used in that barbecue grill we have out there, because it does require fuel, so... Um, that's kind of why I have all of that still, and we have so much. So even if power does go out and we can't run the stove, which we have a generator, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. I don't think I have enough garbage bags, to be honest. I'm going to grab half of these planks, though. Actually, I don't even need half of them. I just need four, right? There's four, so we'll move. All right, now we just gotta look for the garbage bags, garbage bags. I know we kept grabbing a bunch, but I don't know like, if we stopped at a certain point or what. Move over a little bit further. There we go, there's some more. Um, we only need four, so we're just gonna grab that. Oh man, I could make another rain collector. I think I'm just gonna make two for now. I don't wanna waste all my planks necessarily. Also, there's no sorting going on like at all uh, when it comes to those chests I was basically just trying to find anything that would fit and put it in there so also you can't uh, fit anything in here does it mean grab my key ring oh give me this I thought I moved this empty key ring and dropped it somewhere out here there we go now it's out of the way yeah, now we can use the, uh, the barbecue thing. We have you know, water uh, collecting from here. So that's just excellent. And oh, if you're curious about the stats, so not much really changed between when we uh, left off. I might have gained a little bit of crafting, uh, or a little bit of carpentry and a little bit of cooking, but carpentry has been moving at a slog's pace. Sprinting might have gone up a little as well from just running back and forth um, and all of that goodness. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and we'll fill up our water bottle. And then we'll drink just to cap that off. And I'll kind of show you the rest of what I've been doing. So you may notice if we go down here, and it would be better if it was brighter out, but there's no fence blocking these two properties anymore. I went ahead and removed all of it. Uh, because as, our, as you might recall, I was saying we were going to collect these four houses. I'm sorry, these four houses here, and that's going to be kind of our stronghold area. So, that was the plan. Let me turn on this real quick. So, we come down this way. I think we still have a bit of work to do. Yeah, here you can see the, the wall ended. So we're just going to finish this off while I'm recording. And I can't see anything. Um, so I don't know how you guys are going to handle this either, but, uh, yeah, I got nothing. I really wish it was, uh, brighter out. I'm just going to tear everything that I can click on down, and again, I, I'm, I'm not even able to see what the hell I'm clicking on, really. Damn it. Why did you get down there and touch it? Come on, man. A lot of the times I'm still failing collecting goodies, but that's just kind of how it is. But yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to finish tearing down this wall of the fence, and we're going to put up a new fence down in the south to seal that area off. That way the only way out is up further north. 
Hmm. So I'm not sure if this is going to take that wall down. It's not. Perfect. So that's all intact. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and loot everything we have here. Unfortunately, it looks like I didn't get many planks from this. That's fine. At least it's a little bit brighter out now. We can actually see what's happening. We did get some actual planks, which is great. So we'll grab those two. I'm going to put them in my main inventory instead of the backpack. There we go, now did I? Oop. Ah, darn it. It takes so long to get the planks in the inventory. Okay. Now, as I walk across this area, I shouldn't have missed anything else. Oh, look, there's another barbecue down here, too. Oh, and a doghouse. Can I disassemble the doghouse? I can. as well, right? Okay, perfect. That gave us another plank. Boom. Alright, so now that we've gotten that taken care of, I'll also show you the inside of these houses, because they're just completely barren. Uh, one thing I did notice while I was knocking down other stuff was that the... Oh, nice. As you can see here, the uh, fridge is restocked. Perfect. I'll go ahead and just, uh... Really, that lemon made me overweight? Okay. Got an uncooked steak in here, so cool. I have some extra loot I can grab. Also, I, I took the pile of stuff that I wanted to discard that was in my um, house, and I moved it down to this house, just because I don't want to see it. Yeah, anyway, sledgehammering the walls down did not give me wood, which was unfortunate. But you'll see, I have a huge wood pile here, and this wood pile came from the fences and pretty much everything else. I, I just didn't want to take into the house and have to bring it back down out here. So what we're going to do is go carpentry, wall, and then this. So I think we'll kind of do it like this. Luckily, it seems like I can just take the planks off the ground that are just nearby. Except for now I can't because they're too far away, I'm guessing. Okay, uh, off that. So now how do I... How do I actually build the frame? Uh, Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to. I can disassemble it. Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> Maybe I should look this up first. Um, Zomboy, how to build wooden wall. Wooden wall. Must be at least carpentry level two. Requires hammer, planks, nails. The strength of the wall depends upon the level of wall built and the player's carpentry skill. Contrary to what you're saying. Um, to construct a wooden wall, the player must be carpentry level 2 and already have a wooden wall frame or a metal wall frame. The player can then right-click on the frame, choose the level they wish to construct as long as they have the requirements. So... I think I have carpentry four, so I should be able to make the lowest level wall at least. And I just need one plank and that. So if I click on the wall, which if apparently it's not. Oh, there we go. Great wooden wall. Let's go. There we go. At least I understand how that works now. Let's go ahead and grab some more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know I'm a little bit overweight here, but that's fine. We're gonna lose that real quick. There we go. All right. Excellent. We got part of our wall up, which is nice. 
much am I carrying now? Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, I think gets me over that. Okay, so wall, wooden frame. Um So what I want to do is hmm, not here, but like here. I can start from down this side. So I want to start it here. Now I'm out of planks again, so let's go grab some more. I'm not going to have enough planks here. Carpentry, wall, wooden frame. Okay. I think there was another plank over here. At least one more. If not multiple more. Hold on. Hang on. Hang on the side. One second. Okay. Ba -ba -ba, carpentry wall, wooden frame. what we got. Just whatever's left over here. Okay. We can just grab one, two, three of these. Coming on back down here. Okay. Now if I click on this, I can... Oh, I need two for the wooden wall. I thought it was just one. That's fine. That's fair. That was my skill from that. Nope, didn't get anything. That's why we need another carpentry book, y'all. All right, so here is our beginning of the wall. Like I said, I want to kind of combine those together so that we have a, a nice, just solid line of defense so nothing's really, like, getting around around us, you know? And then let's take a look at our uh, car here. I had some pretty decent parts, so if I wanted to uninstall, I need a wrench. Okay. Cool. So I want to start tearing apart these cars to scavenge them for parts for my other cars. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and eat something. Let's go ahead and take a water bottle. Why not? I was going to have extra water. And then let's put this steak into the oven. Turn the oven on. And now let's just go ahead and boop. Mm -hmm. That'll be finished in real quick. There we go. Take it. And we'll just eat it. All of that. Let's eat all of that, baby. Nice. All right, nice and full. Let's remember to turn the stove off. I always forget about that step. Okay. Perfect. So, I'm going to take these nails, and I'm going to just put them on the ground here. Wait. All right, I'll leave the plank, too. Might as well. All right, excellent. Let's head back home now. Because we have all these lovely trees out here that we can use to saw them down and create planks out of them. That'll be our plan here. Tainted water, unsafe for drinking. Sterilized by boiling in oven or over a fire. Okay. Gotcha. Well, at least we have that water contained there and ready to go if we need it. So that's perfect. Um, all right, let's go ahead and dump this stuff where we can. I think the second one is the gardening supplies. Yep. At some point, we should also start our garden. That would be very nice to start. I wish I could do something else with wood scraps other than just burn them, you know. Because they're just taking up so much space. I might not even grab them anymore, to be honest, if this is how it's going to be. Alright, so we want to grab... Uh, where is my... I need to find... I'm looking for my wood axe. There it is. We're going to go chop down some trees and cut them up. 
rock and roll. All right. We'll start with the ones that are kind of just out in the open here. We're going to cut this tree down. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Did our strength go up? Because we can carry 20 now, I just noticed. Okay. These logs. Hmm. Wait. Did I not pick that log up that was back here? I guess I didn't. How much do these weigh? Nine each? Okay. I'm gonna put two of those in the backpack. And then... Our tree banish is used for anything. Can be used to craft stone knife, stone axe, stone hammer, splint stakes, wooden spear. Nice. Okay. Those can be useful. Uh, I might just drop this one here, however. Just on the ground. That way I have noted its position. What is what is that? It's just a log? Okay. I think I can pick up one more log here. I'm going to come over here real quick and drop down this wooden branch, and that should equalize my ability. Yep, perfect. All right. That looks like we're getting exhausted and sleepy here. The shame it's only one o'clock. I don't know what my guy's sleep schedule is here, but it is, uh... Is that like an alarm for my watch? Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna walk down here, and we will cut up the logs. drop those on the ground before I die. Okay, perfect. That takes care of everything that was in my backpack, right? Can I chop down? Is this a tree I can chop down? Nah, I'm assuming to get rid of these hedges and stuff, I'm going to need to have um, a shovel or something. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the nails back. We'll grab the planks. One, two, three, four. I'll go four at a time here for now. Carpentry, wall, wooden frame. Do it, do it. One, two. Oh, my model will take them all at this point. Carpentry, wall, wooden frame. Didn't I have six planks? I didn't pick one up, apparently. Go. Okay, so carpentry. Carpentry wall, wooden frame. Looks like I just need two more, I guess? I don't know why my guy had to go through it like that, but it works for it, man. Okay, so yeah, one more here, and then we'll do one more here as well, and that'll take care of those. Oh, perfect. Are there any trees along here that I can just cut down real quick? It's on the other side. That's all just grass. Why don't you have any trees along this side of the fucking wall, my guy? That's just rude. We're tired, but we're not ridiculously tired, so uh, we're just going to ignore that real quick. And let's go ahead and move over to here. Just a little bit exerted. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and saw the logs, all of them. Go ahead and drop them quick before we have some problems. And then we're gonna just finish the wall. At least the, the frame of the wall.
Perfect. Okay. And then I think if I select that, I can go ahead and just put a frame on through there using the links that I had. All right. And there's nothing else on the ground. So let's go ahead and just boop. All right. Good stuff. So when we come back, we can just pick up those logs and take some more with us. But let's go ahead and go to bed. We need to do a little bit of exercise too here before we hit A. Or I can just stay up a little bit longer and do some other stuff just so I can get like a more normal schedule for myself. Also, I brought the nails with me, unfortunately. Didn't necessarily want to do that. Because one thing I do have is... Uh, some sewing kits and whatnot. So we could attempt to repair our clothing. So if I go and find my scrap cloth, which is somewhere around here. I think maybe denim strips, ripped sheets. I think I had like scrap leather too, didn't I, somewhere? Leather strips right there. All right. I've not actually tried to do any tailoring before, so that'll be interesting. And then I just need to find wherever I put my sewing kit. I'll just grab one. Um. Go ahead and equip that primary. But I can do this. And if I open up and that is equipped. If I do this, do inspect, and then do that, I can patch hole. Okay. Patch all holes with ripped sheets. Do that. There we go, and if we look at our skills, our tailoring has barely moved. So that's fine. That's just kind of how it is sometimes. All right, so let's try the bulletproof vest next. We got a couple of holes there. But yeah, can't be repaired. Okay, that's unfortunate. You don't want to see that. What else do we have that needs to be repaired? Let's inspect the denim shirt one more time here. All right, we got those repaired. That doesn't require repair. This one, no holes. We have a couple holes here. But it also can't be repaired. That sucks. Um, no issues there. I think the hoodie might have some holes. Let's check a look. It's full of holes. Let's, um... Might as well use up the, the extra stuff we have, like the denim and whatnot. And then this one, let's go ahead and patch with the leather strips. And then the rest of them, we'll go ahead and patch with the ripped sheets. Nice. It's not gonna, you know, protect us completely, but it'll be better than having holes in our stuff, right? All right, and then let's take a look at the socks, which are good, the military boots, which are, Good, but they can't be repaired, unfortunately. Gloves can't be repaired. What about my t-shirt here? That was actually surprisingly fine. Okay, well, I guess that's all I can do for uh, sewing right now. Let's go ahead and put that stuff back in here. Easy peasy. And then I can close that and put the rip sheets back wherever. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that didn't give us much tailoring experience. Okay. Let's head on upstairs. Also, one thing that I have had an issue with is the lighter's durability. We are running a little low on that. So let's go ahead and we'll smoke a cigarette now. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put the lighter back in there. Let's go ahead and exercise. We're gonna do our burpees again for about an hour. Probably a little less than that because we're gonna get overexerted, but that's fine. All right, there we go. Go ahead and take a nap.
and it is 6 p.m. So that's a decent time, I guess, to sleep. Or I am, huh? Or I am. I don't know why I'm closing and opening the door here. Isn't I could even just remove that door, but just for the sake of, you know, protection and stuff, I don't really want to. Incidentally, I suppose. I was thinking if the uh, fridge and stuff respawned, that stuff might as well, might as well have. Also, I uh, put out some spike traps that I had over here. You can barely see them right here. I don't know if those were for zombies or for animals or what, but yeah. Also, you might notice the zombies from around here are gone. Uh, I moved them around this corner and uh, the corpses are gone already. I guess that heavy rain must have really taken care of them, but I moved all the corpses that had been here and just put them around the corner. Uh, I was tired of looking at them, so I made it nice and clear for us, yeah. All right, we are a little peckish. I think we'll have some, some candy to uh, perk ourselves up, or at least something that gives happiness. So do I have anything that's, like, happy? Jujubes, you would eat those if we're still peckish afterwards. We are, okay. What about some chocolate? How about that? And we're golden. Perfect. Alright, um... What am I carrying this 14 fucking pounds? I guess all the nails and then the wooden axe. Ugh. Let's go grab these logs that we had cut previously. At least two of them I think I can carry in the backpack. Yeah, just two. Hmm. Maybe I try a third? Well, a third can't go in there. That would be 29 pounds. Let's see if I can carry that here. Oh, I can. Perfect. All right. Let's head down south and finish our wall. That way. Will be secure from down this angle. Let's jump through here and then let's go ahead and saw all. We're just gonna drop them on the ground just like that. All right. The wall level one. Why is it not? I guess because they, if they're on the ground now, they don't want to be used or something. I'm just going to grab four for right... Oh my god. I, I try to move too quick. I don't like waiting. Right, let's go down. We'll do the ones down here first. Oh. Wait, I could do level two walls. Been doing level one walls the whole time. No, whatever. Am I able to upgrade to level two? I need another plank for that. Ugh. Yes, the same amount of resources, it's just higher skill. have one straggler plank hanging out here mm, okay well I might as well take this opportunity to come down here and cut the trees that are not near my property that are outside of it Muscle fatigue. There we go. 
know. All right. Um. It'd be nice if I could like just take these and not have to put them in my inventory to use them, right? Okay. Let's just go ahead and put as many as we can in the backpack then. And then one in my main. It's been really nice not seeing the zombies around. Uh, our first couple of days here when we, you know, took care of them all really helped out. Dang, just look how fast my health decided to go bloop. That. Ah, come on. There we go. Level two. I don't know why it works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't for that. Okay, there we go. Ah, not that. Come on. Let me... There we go. Four. There we go. I think I still have that one plank that's up there. I think I just barely see it peeking out. Yep, there we go. Okay. Two here. Oh, drop this here. All right, I saw these logs. Two. Okay, perfect. I'm going to grab all the non logs here, take them over the fence quick. That way I can just focus on the logs and we'll upgrade the wall the rest of the way, like I should have done in the first place, not realizing that level two was my maximum. Um, can I take a log with me, too? Yes, I can. Perfect. All right. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So I'm just going to throw these on the ground here. I'm going to take the log and we're going to saw it up real quick. Let's go ahead and drop down the things here. I think I'll also drop my my axe here. Because that way I'm not carrying near as much. Oof. We're getting high exertion here. That's fine. Let's just pick up what I can. Still have that one fence down here that needs to be updated. So I'm gonna saw one of these. All right, I jumped all the nails. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I know I'll just leave all the nails behind so I don't have to carry extra weight and then not be able to use the nails when I need them. That's excellent. Upgrade to level two. Right, I have to jump across the other side. Hold on. In the 
before I forget about the one down here, let's do this one. That's like, I think the only one down here that's not on this side. There we go. Can barely walk. That's great. Um, saw logs, one. Okay. One more time. There we go. Everything's taken care of. I think we're out of that stuff. So I'm just going to hop the fence one more time here. This is, of course, going to cause my exertion to go up. Ew, buttons. Let's see. Let's drop that. Let's drop the saw. And we'll just uh, let, let's sit on the ground for a moment here. We'll just rest up, you know. We're going to speed by time a little bit until the exertion goes down a couple times. There we go. All right. Let's grab the rest of that wood we have over here. Easiest thing to do might just be to grab it all and see if I can hop the fence. Let's go. <laughs> okay. There. For now, I'll just drop the logs here. Go back and pick the other one up. Put it here as well. All right, not bad, not bad at all. We've got a little bit more safety here now. All right, what else can I carry here on me? Let's grab those. Pick up my saw. I want my ax back, please, thank you. Okay, now we're getting to the point where we're overweight, but the twigs uh, luckily don't really weigh anything. The branches weigh a bit. So, I might just leave the rest of this stuff here for now. Okay. Look at our skills here. Well, we're almost halfway to level 5 carpentry, which is nice. Very, very nice. Ah, I feel so much safer now that I don't have to worry about that area down there. Mm. Love to see it. This whole area is nice and cordoned up. I wish I could like just get something like draw on the map, you know, like not use these default things, but like put my own writing and stuff on them. That way I could like show that I have a fortified area here. You know, I suppose I could just grab this and just go like that to signify that's my territory now. But, uh, yeah. That'll work. Okay. We've got a lot of work to do ahead of us. So I think we will... It's only noon and we're just exhausted. This is why I, uh, can't get shit done. Alright, let's go ahead and put away our wooden axe here. And maybe we'll put our saw away, too. Okay, let's see. Where are we putting the wigs and stuff? Probably here. Put the nails here, too. Why not? The logs, unfortunately, aren't going to fit very well. I think I might just put the logs outside in front of our uh, house here. They won't disappear for a good while. If those books down in the other house haven't disappeared, we, uh, we should be fine. But we'll have a nice little stockpile of, of wood. I guess I could place them to make them look better, but meh. So we're getting very tired at this point, so we're not going to do too much else right now. 
Uh, what we'll plan on doing is we'll start up a garden here. And then after the garden is set up, we uh, kind of fortify the north a bit. Hopefully have that work out for us. I think I'm going to skip the, the burpees today and just go to sleep. Even though it's like only 1.10 p.m., but what else am I going to do, right? I'm not sure how this works. Is it, is it set up to go off at a certain time? Like if I open up my watch. Set alarm. I can, okay. So if I set an alarm and then click that, it would go off then. Okay. All right, so I have no idea what I need in order to um, make a field. I'm assuming I just need to have my seeds and the other stuff here. So let me grab that. Let me grab the watering can. Let me grab the gardening hoe. And then I'll grab one of the gardening forks. Because again, I'm not sure what I need in order to actually do this. So but let's go ahead and I'm going to cook the shrimp. I think we'll have a nice little shrimp for dinner. For breakfast. Thankfully a midnight snack. But you know how it is. There we go. Fresh cooked. We'll just eat it all since we are fairly hungry. And we're still hungry. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, let's drink this pop. It'll help us with our thirst, a little bit of hunger, and then also there's a little bit of happiness, which we are sadly missing out on. And then what else do we have? Chips? Sure, eat the chips. Wait, no, we're full. Stop, don't eat those. Stop it. Whatever. It's fine, I guess. Okay. I was misreading the, uh, the thing we had up there. Okay, so let's fill everything here. Our empty bottles and the watering can. Alright. So I think a good place for our garden would be just right out here. Along with the water and stuff. So I just have to figure out... I can dig graves. I think the furrow is what I need in order to plant seeds. do six for right now and then I'll see if I can plant the seeds and what happens. Okay. Oh. That is a lot of seeds. So seeds. Broccoli. I was, uh, I thought the three meant that you know, I'd have three broccoli seeds uh, to plant, not like this. So I have, I have so many then. Okay. And then what else do we have? We have tomatoes as well. Now we'll open some of them up. We have the cabbage. Open up one of them. And then the radish seed, which we have so many of, so we'll do that. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna dig some more furrows. Shit. And I have a huge farm here. Ah, oh, crap. I clicked and moved. Let me just get out of there. Apparently I can't click there when I'm there. I don't know if there's like a a need for them to be separated like this or not. 
I'm just going to kind of combine them all into one little thing. I think we'll do five fields. I say fields, but five of these each. And we have four different crops. Potatoes, broccoli, cabbage, radish. Was there another one? Tomato, radish, potato, cabbage, broccoli. Yeah, okay. Just those. That's fine. There we go. And then I can do sow seeds, broccoli. Just like that. Then we'll do cabbages next to these. It's kind of weird that you don't get like a, a an even number of them, so you can't plant all the seeds, right? So seed, potato. Well, I guess it's just those, huh? So some seeds require more, while some require less. The other one was nine each. It doesn't require four each. Okay. Um. So seed. I think tomato, right? have a nice peaceful day then I can fertilize is this fertilized one does that like if I put more on does it do anything oh I didn't realize there was only four uses in that fertilize fertilizer uh, that's fine whatever what can I do with these worms eat them, I guess, huh? What do I do? Those water levels parched. Okay. So, my question is, if I were to, I didn't want to use a bottle for it, might as well though. I can just fill them up easily enough. Okay. So if I fill my empty watering can with this, it doesn't matter because I'm not drinking it, right? I can I can just use the watering can here, right? As long as I'm not drinking the water, it's fine, right? Okay. Yeah, I think if I make any more... Um, fields, I just will not have the time and energy to deal with them. I don't know if there's like a particular level I'm supposed to be doing them to, or if this is fine, if I just get them to fine.
would be nice if there's a little bit of daylight out at the moment. Hmm. So farming doesn't go up even though I planted stuff, huh? Seems messed up. Fuck, I did one extra I didn't need to do there. How much water do they actually need? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> So if I've been doing, is it, is it just a hundred? Is that what they need? Just just one hundred? Okay, that's full. This doesn't take that long to water, huh? Let's have enough water, have enough water. Well watered. Put these next. Not enough water in inventory. How much does it have right now? Am I just blind? Where, where's the watering can? Oh, I gotta be quick, don't I? Yeah, there's nothing left in it. Oh. Now it's gonna only be purified in a microwave. I guess because it's in a watering can. I just want to make sure I have enough water for all these because I don't want to go in the house and have to deal with that. So I'm just going to leave them at least thirsty. Okay. Fill her up again. The last of the water in these things. Maybe I should have made more of these, huh? again. Is there any left in here? Yeah, looks like this is probably going to be the last batch. Okay. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Well watered, well watered. These are a little bit thirsty. Let me give them a little something, something. They're also thirsty here. Okay, I'm probably not going to be watering these a lot, I'll be honest. Um, place item. I'm just going to place that there. That way I don't have to find and place it every single time. It wouldn't be a bad idea if I had a uh, crate outside here just for that stuff, which I might actually build. Thinking about it. In order to make a chest, I need three planks, three nails. Hmm. 
One, two, three, and we're done. Excellent, okay. Thought I might as well pick up watering can, transfer it into here. That way it's not on the ground, just kind of sitting there, right? Go ahead and put the seeds away along with the gardening tools. I got the worms in there too. Why not? Okay. Um. Let me get the hoe and the fork back. Actually. Alright, and I'm gonna go down here. Did I remove these bushes? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. One second. use a shovel. Don't I have a shovel on me? I do. Let me equip it in both hands and see if I get an option to do something. Don't want to dig graves. Hmm. Google says maybe a sledgehammer. Or at least some Reddit post says maybe a sledgehammer. I don't know. But anyway, I'll go ahead and drop this stuff back in. Alright. Let's go ahead and go back and fill up our water before I forget about that. Excuse me. I just want to keep one one bottle here with me. Did I turn the oven off? I did not. Man, if we're actually running off of generator fuel, I am going to be in a bad position when that happens. I need to get in the habit of doing it. Let's eat a granola bar quick. Okay. We'll put away the nails. Which should basically fit anywhere. Uh, I guess not that one then. There we go. Alright, um... I'm gonna look for nails and planks in my things here. And I'm gonna transfer them into the second crate. That way all the stuff that I can build with is sort of in the same area. I don't have to keep being like, oh, well, where the fuck is everything at? No, I know it's in that one crate. Um, I don't think I have any more, actually, so that works just fine for me. Just one more over here. Double check this. We do have the boxes of nails. I'll go with some nails here. I'll grab them. Let's grab the box of nails too. Why not? Don't think I have any planks in here though. Nope. Nope. 
Yeah, planks are the kind of bottleneck right now in terms of building stuff up. So, it's all good. It's 6 o'clock and we're already drowsy, but we're not going to do anything about that quite yet. Okay, so, what other skills do we have? We have the mechanic skill, which I was going to use. We just need to get a wrench. Um, wrench, wrench, wrench. Wrench, 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 wrench. Should be W for wrench. There we go. I also want to grab my sledgehammer. Oop. So I can see if that actually does destroy those bushes. Um, I also want to grab... I'm probably going to need a lug nut. A lug wrench for tires or something, right? One would assume. Okay. Let's just test this out. Maybe I have to equip the sledgehammer to destroy stuff with it. I can destroy furrow with hands. Or dig furrow with hands, sorry. Destroy. If I hit here. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for that. Okay. I'm going to put this away so I don't have a huge sledgehammer inventory. Now let's head out to the uh, cars we don't have keys for. See what my mechanics can do. I might also try to remove the trunk off the, the blue truck we got. Because that could uh, allow me to access the trunk. Which would then allow me to see if there's actually anything inside of it, right? So I could take engine parts, but I need mechanics for for that. What about the hood? Um... Recommended mechanic skill is zero out of three. Okay, well, yeah, let's uninstall the uh, the, the hood here. Failed. Okay. Can I try it again? Failure. I think I'm damaging it, but am I getting mechanics experience? I got a little bit. Hey, we got it. I think that's in my inventory now. Good type standard, it is. Okay, can I put that in the backpack? I can. Why not? Okay. What about the headlights? Can I access those? Can I actually just go from here? I can. Okay. Oh, I just got a light bulb. It doesn't actually give me, like, a headlight item. Okay. I mean, I might as well just uninstall these if, uh... It's just gonna let me do that. I wanna uninstall the trunk. What about that? I need a jack for those. What about the suspension? Nope. Engine. Uh, this will set your engine condition to zero. Okay. What about the battery? I just need a screwdriver for that one. Okay. Nice. Let me put what I can in the backpack. Um. Rear windshield. I could uninstall it, but it would take me some. It's it, it five percent chance of success. I saw the muffler. That's also a five percent chance of success. Screw it. Failed. Try it again. Hey, we got it. Oh man, yeah, I can actually just put the stuff I'm taking from it in the in the trunk that's a nice solution except for the hood of course which doesn't really fit I can just put it on the ground though I guess there okay um what about the tire if I want to install that I need a jack 
Okay, so I have to find a jack for that. I can deflate the tire, inflate the tire. Um, what else can I take out of here? You know what, let's try the weird windshield. Let's uninstall that. I do think I am damaging it while doing this, but I need to get my mechanic skill up somehow. Mechanics goes up really slowly, huh? Oof. How do I have... Oh, the chance to damage is 95. I thought the chance to resist damage was that, but it looks like the windshield condition is uh, screwed now. Well, at least now I can really keep trying until it happens, right? Let's see, mechanics is 32.55, and did it go up after I tried to uninstall it? By 0 0.5. Or 0 0.1. Yeah, just double check that. <clears throat> 0 0.05 right there. Okay. Well, shit. Alright. Well, here's the lowdown, folks. I think we'll end things here for now. It's, it's been a, a good amount of time, right? And, uh,. I'm just going to keep trying to take these cars apart to level up my mechanic skill. Because we don't really care too much about these cars that are just sitting here, right? Um, the ones we care about are the ones back at home. And once we can get good enough to either repair or remove the trunk from that one vehicle, we can actually use that one to go around transporting stuff. And I think it should have more capacity than the one we've been using. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so off camera, I'm going to... Maybe chop down more trees, gather more logs and stuff like that, and then uh, maybe expand uh, my storage areas and stuff like that um, off camera. And the next time we come back, I'll kind of show you what we've done or what I've done. And I think we might, with all the wood I've collected, try to fortify the northern section as well. So until then, bye for now.